Wings for Life, partner charity of the event, benefiting from money raised. So tell me what it's about. Yeah, of course. So we're Wings for Life. We're a spinal cord research foundation. Our mission is to find a cure for spinal cord injury. So we fund global research projects all around the world, right from the lab all the way through to clinical trials with that one sole aim in mind, to find a cure for spinal cord injury. Um, we're fortunate if you like in the sense that all of our overheads are covered by um, our main corporate partner so that means that 100% of any donation Wings for Life receives goes directly towards that mission which is amazing so our salaries our office space is all funded so you can be sure and to know that from tonight's um, funds raised will go directly towards our researchers which is amazing and actually Stephen's here uh, with us tonight fantastically um, as a living product of one of our researchers yeah, you kind of Succeeding, so yeah. It's just uh, tease it off nicely, doesn't it? For you to tell us your amazing story, what happened to you? So my story happened about 16 months ago. I was training for Ride London, which is the UK's equivalent of the marathon on a, on a cycle. Uh, unfortunately, whilst I was training, I ran into a barrier and I pivoted over that barrier, landed on my head, and I suffered a um, spinal cord injury at the level of C3-4, which is exactly in the middle of your neck. So I lost everything below that point, my arms, my legs, and I became what's technically known as a tetraplegic. So um, NIM function was lost below that point. I was literally a head on a pillow, uh, got taken to St. George's Hospital, and uh, I was very lucky to be involved in an experimental clinical trial, which was funded by Wings for Life. I later found out, I didn't know that at the time, but uh, I later found out Wings for Life were the, the guys that had funded a trial of about 50 people, uh, of which I was number 45. Uh, I went through that process um, having some interesting treatment, which, had, which was fairly experimental, and so there were only 50 people that had it. And after I'd been through that treatment, a whole bunch of physio later, I'm able to come to an event like tonight's charity auction, um, maybe able to hold a glass of beer, do some of the networking, have conversations with people like yourself, which was just never on the cards previously. So, What was this treatment? I mean, can you tell us what it, what it is? Absolutely. I mean, it, what it was based around really was a pressure study. So a lot of it was based on removing some of the contusion or the bruising within the spinal cord. There are two types of spinal cord injury that people normally suffer. One is a complete injury where they sever the spinal cord, a bit like Christopher Reeve would have had. Um, however, mine was what's called an incomplete spinal cord injury, where you bruise the, 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 the spinal cord. So mine was crushed and stretched uh, and in dislocating my neck that's where I suffered my spinal cord injury. But the treatment itself was to try and remove some of that bruising because it was shown through studies that reducing the bruising on the spinal cord injury sites by as little as 10% can be the difference between walking and not walking. Exactly yeah. and that's the thing with spinal cord injury is that where your lesion is can affect anything from that point. So for example spinal cord injury can affect your bowel, your bladder, your sexual function, inability even to control your own body temperature. All of these things are side effects of suffering a spinal cord injury. So from the work that we do all around the world um, allows us to basically bridge that gap. You're on a train from Edinburgh all the way down to London, you're stuck at Durham, how do you get past Durham? You get on a tram or a bus to Birmingham and then rejoin that. So we're basically trying to bridge that gap and you know restore functions that are otherwise lost when you suffer a spinal cord injury. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, there's so much more we could talk for hours about. It's a miracle. And um, thank you, Hannah and Stephen, Wings for Life. If you want to know more, you can look them up.